Brent crude futures rose 54 cents or 0.6 percent to 87.2 dollars a barrel while U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude was at $80.22 dollars a barrel, that is up by 54 cents or 0.7 percent. Israel appears to have been behind an overnight drone attack on a military factory in Iran. A U.S. official said this on Sunday. The ministers from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and allies led by Russia, known collectively as OPEC+, Plus, are unlikely to tweak its current oil output policy when they meet virtually on February 1st. Still indication of a rise in crude exports from Russia's Baltic ports in early February caused Brent and WTI to post their first weekly loss in three last week. On Saturday, China's cabinet said that it would promote a consumption recovery as the major driver of the economy and boost imports. The state broadcaster CCTV reported this. China resumes business this week after its Lunar New Year holidays. The number of passengers traveling prior to the holidays rose above levels in the past two years but is still below 2019 figures.